Hi everyone, this is an updated tutorial on how to install car mods in American Truck Simulator. So quite a few things have changed since my last tutorial. The game received some updates, the UI has changed. So in this tutorial I'll address all that. We're gonna go to this website. This is also changed. So previously I suggested another website but um, this actually works better and is updated more often. Now if you go here, uh, one thing to notice here is that it says ETS2.LT, right? So you might think this is for just for Euro Truck Simulator 2, but actually all the car mods, um, usually like 95% of car mods from this website will also work for American Truck Simulator. All right, before going to the actual tutorial, let me just show you how to do deal with ads and how to avoid being redirect to a different website and avoid downloading any unwanted software so as you can see I'm here in this on this website and this is an ad this is an ad this is an ad and as you scroll down you'll see more ads here and here now the thing you have to do is let's say you're gonna pick a card to download right so let's scroll down let's say our the card we want to download is on page 3 maybe so let's just go there, click there click the load, here we are let's say this is the card we want to download so I'm clicking here you see this window pops up it says file size 1.2 whatever and it says download if you click this you're gonna get redirected like this is not the file we're looking for you see it says add here so definitely don't click download here you're gonna cross this just click here and it will take you to the actual page and now you'll see tons of other download buttons but don't click any of those or any of these ads what you're going to do is don't click this scroll down this is going to be your actual download link alright so once you click that this should take you to either mods fire or share mods if it takes you to any other website then just simply close that tab and come back here and click download again it should when you hover over this you should see bottom left corner at the bottom left corner you can see the address mods fire that's where you should be going so as you can see we are here at mods fire so we are at the right place now we'll click generate link you're going to click download link and now you'll click download but as you can see as you can see you're actually not hovering there is no hover effect on this button because there is an ad invisible ad so I click that it takes me to another website this is not our download so just close that now you see the effect there so this time it's gonna work here we have the Volvo S90 file that we're looking for remember that uh, the file you're going to download will have the name of the mod on it if it's something else, if it's install.exe, setup.exe, then you'll know it's not the file you want. It's probably something else and don't open it. If in any case you end up downloading a file that you don't want, um, don't panic, just download, delete the file from your system and then delete it from recycle bin. As long as you don't open or run the file, you should be good. So yeah, it will just save that and this will download your game file and cool we got a new car mod here this was updated today yeah I haven't seen that before let's go with that one looks really dope it's the navigator 2020 uh, really love this car and we can actually check this one out so once you um, so once you're here in this website you can scroll down you will see different car mods the only problem with this website is that uh, whenever there is a car mod it shows the whole post for that so you see all the screenshots instead of like, instead of like a card view uh, but other than that it's a pretty good website you can check out different car mods go through the pages and also search for the car you were looking for.
so yeah all right uh, now let's go back to this one that we were gonna download and, and another thing to keep in mind is the game version uh, and you, the mod version so as you can see it says in the title it's for 1.51 so if your game version is 1.51 it should be good but if it if you were running an older version of the game like 1.50 for some reason then you'd have to look for a mod that's for 1.50 and I always try to get the uh, latest uh, mod I always try to get the mod that's for your game version so if it's 1.51 then try 1.51 if you try to download a mod that's for like an older version like 1.49 or 1.50 uh, they might not work like Sometimes they do work, but it's not guaranteed. So always keep the game version in mind too. Here now you're going to scroll down. I can clearly see the download link. I click it, it takes me straight to mods fire. That's where you should be going when you click that. And then you're gonna click generate link and download link and then finally download. Now this will download the mod. Now once it's downloaded, op open the file, just click it. Here's the second thing you have to keep in mind. You see the file we downloaded was a zip file, so we have to extract the .scs file to our directory or wherever we want that. If you download a .scs file, then you will just copy that file. So just make sure that in your mods folder, you need the .scs file and not a .zip file. So we're going to copy this, go to documents, American Truck Simulator, mod, and I'm going to paste it here. All right. Now you can close your Explorer and the browser, go to Steam and start your game. Once you're in the game, you're going to hit mods here, go to the mods menu by clicking this option now the mod that you installed last should be here at the top so you're gonna either double click that or you could click that and then hit this button uh, actually this button right here don't click that uh, this button right here to enable that right there and then you have to verify that the mod is actually active and for that you will look here your mod should show up first under active mods list and if you're gonna use other mods with that that's completely fine if your um, the car itself is not showing up in a dealership then I suggest you'd have to just increase the priority of that car mod like if you have like a lot of car mods installed and this one's not showing up you'd have to increase the priority and then you're going to hit confirm changes here and then you can go continue and right, once you're in this menu you're going to go go to services and truck dealers and here you will see access mod dealer I know some people mentioned in the previous video they did not see access mod dealer some people in the updated game like 1.50 or 1.51 they couldn't see this I'm not sure why like anytime you have a modded car or bus or whatever you should be able to see this um, so let's just click that usually the new car you install should be at the top if not you can check out the other dealers here but as you can see we see our navigator here to customize you'll just click custom customize configuration so I noticed something when I click customize configuration here it crashed my game I think this is the train I'm seeing um, in version 1.51 in like the latest versions that whenever I try to customize one of the mods that are for ETS2 and I'm using an ATS it just crashes the game so for now we're not gonna try to customize the vehicle I'm just gonna make some space in my garage first so what I'm gonna do in this case is I'm just gonna try to purchase the 
car and see if it we can drive it or not let's just send it here and now you'll go to company truck manager from the list choose your new car and then click drive it Alright, so you see you are able to actually drive the car, but whenever I tried to go customize the vehicle, it crashed. I haven't tried an another time, so uh, maybe I'll do that. But if you can customize the vehicle, it's most likely due to the fact that it's for ATS2 and not for ATS. So that's why um, right now I'm going to show you another website that you, get you can download from. It's very similar. So it's going to be this website right here. It's just instead of ets2.lt, it's etsmods.lt. This is for American Truck Simulator. Uh, and I believe if you download just for American Truck Simulator from this website, I think it should be fine that you can customize and everything. But you see th this website does not have like all the updated cars. You can just wait for them to, you know, release the new cars and if you don't want to wait you can download from ETS2 mods the only risk of that is that you may, might not be able to customize some of the cars like the one we just uh, we just saw but let's get back to the game now so yeah that should be the tutorial that should that should be everything you need to know to be able to use car mods American truck simulator let me know if you face any other issues if you have any questions uh, comment down below and leave a like if it helped you